Hello everybody, welcome to a NAF ladder game, another Dark Elf Mirror up against Jonesy, who's got an apple rather than twelfth player. He's got a leader for his third reroll. He's got three dodge, a tackle, and wrestle and nothing on he's got a rookie witch. I really hate the rookie witch to be honest. But there you go. Interesting, interesting he's gone for that tackle. Over a wrestle witch. I feel like a wrestle witch is a lot better, but there you go. Good to get a game in an athletic. Right, hopefully I can learn how to play Blood Bowl and Dark Elves at the same time. <laughs> Unfortunately, Punter, that's not possible, even if he was a fool that I could smoke. Um, Blood Bowl games yeah. aren't lasting less than an hour, are they? <laughs> No, I wasn't in the booth, so I thought I'll go in and then if somebody wants to, they can. the point of the blocking is to keep them, you know, additional hits but also to keep them controlled, so yeah. Strange. Strange. So, let's go safe moves first. Maybe I should have blitzed this guy here. Eh? Kind of, kind of realised halfway through the turn. I just thought, oh, this is a good guy to blitz, but then, oh, wait a minute, I've got to keep away from that because of this guy.
I hate just screening. <laughs> it doesn't seem good enough, does it? Can I base everyone like an idiot and hope for the best? That's like the alternative, isn't it? No! Oh, I wouldn't have done that. No, oh, no, it's not far enough, shit. I'm an idiot. Well, I've got, I can push him there, then there, and I need a player here. And the player there. Can he get there? Oh yeah, I fold it. It was a heavy investment, yes. But most importantly, I get to say, look, I'm a big prey and I can serve people. And you know, you can't put a price on that. Oh yeah, he's only got 11 men plus Apple, so he kind of had to have it, didn't he? I mean, it's pretty good. Like, to be, it's a big investment, but surfing a player on turn three is very, very strong. As much as it gives up a lot in positioning, it's it's a very strong, isn't it? It's a very strong uh, play. So, turn two, yeah, yeah, turn two, so... Yeah, Tank Steve. So yeah, turn two serve, incredible. So even if he does like, you know, push forward down this side now, I can still get back there and, and like put loads of pressure on him, so. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say, still, even though it was a very heavy investment. But yeah, I mean, he does get the push quite far down. Well, hey, I mean, he's got four reels, it doesn't matter. Still. Always just five plus in for a one day, can't I? Glorious bit of wrestling, hot rustle action. Okay, maybe not. I mean, I could base everybody. Slam in isn't bad here at all. I 
don't want to re-roll that, right? So let's just move everybody in first. I go on D. I think that mirrors them quite well. Get the extra push. I get the extra block, like the push. The move leads to the extra push, right? And also it means I can push him in here, which is. Like, it's not amazing or anything, but it's alright, isn't it, to have him. Yeah. Only got one way out. Do I dodge him out? Probably not, eh? Probably not. He's in a pretty good spot down there. This is a, I quite like this defensive turn here. Really deep, so he's got nothing through there. So he can continue to push down here or get back in the middle, but then he can't go forward through the middle. So... bit greedy here. Oh baby, get the pal. Well, full, so we'll see I think I'll go back there. Mm, brilliant, the extra go. The extra hit knocks my player down. That seems completely reasonable, doesn't it? I don't hate this though, because if he puts players in to get the hits, then, you know, he's committing players and I can swarm him next turn. Obviously I'd rather just power the tackle and then move the rest in. But never mind. Not allowed. Not allowed good dice like everyone else. Oh, that was a bit bad, wasn't it? I guess it, yeah, I guess I should have moved the witch elf one forward to stop that. Reconnect. Just laziness, not really looking.
thing. That's annoying. I mean, it should have been one for fact here. Right? Oh, surfable. <laughs> it's really yellow, isn't it? Yeah. Gold. Well, that was that was what I was going for. Yeah. I wonder if a golden team would look good on tabletop. Probably terrible. <laughs> it's like the inside of it. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty quick turn, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't know if it was a particularly good turn, but it was certainly quick. I don't want to hit it, like two down here to make the sideline a bit worse. Enough in the middle, hopefully, to stop. I mean, if the, obviously better without this stun. I could have come up there, and there could be another one. This guy could be another higher. Turn six, so if he goes back in the middle, it's uh, it's not great for him, is it? I saw them. They're very much a counts as all L's team, aren't they? I used to love Harlequins when I was a kid. I absolutely fucking love them. Death Jesters. Death Jesters, I thought, were incredible. And Solitaires, obviously. I wouldn't mind a Harlequin Blood Bowl team. They counted as all. That's maybe... <laughs> Maybe what I should have got instead of <laughs> instead of uh, Darko. I think it's the Greebor Dells. Oh, what I'm getting. So yeah, if it wasn't for that stun, then uh, I would have been one higher, another player behind, and then he would have really been screwed that time. That was a good stun for him. I think the main thing Jonesy has to do for the World Cup is to fucking get faster. 
because you know it could go over time and uh, there's already three minutes in the time bank GFI, double one, dice. Not easy to get there, is it? Should I base? I mean, I am basing. So whether I should or not doesn't really matter because it's it's already happened. <laughs> Shit, isn't it? If only one D him, which is basically a three plus. Close. Maybe I just shouldn't have moved him. Eh? There's a double one as well. The first thing he did would have just failed, maybe. Mm. Maybe I just shouldn't have moved that. He eh? just let him take action. He's not in a terrible spot. Like and that guy doesn't really do anything, but it's still he's still like he does something, doesn't he? If he's there, he does some. Man, he'd done more if I'd moved him. To be fair, so maybe maybe it was right. If I'd put him there, it'd have used up that witch's action, which then he wouldn't have blitzed. He wouldn't have got the KO. <laughs> wouldn't have had this assist here, right? He would have been he would have been blocking this one on the two. Like, if I'd rolled the two plus, he'd have hit that one into there and stuff, and then. He wouldn't have been able to blitz with wrestle, or he'd have had to bl block without block. So, man, powers two blodgers. Outrageous. Literally protect my blodgers all game, as best I could. You know, because he's got a tackler, so I'm just offering an alignment every single turn for the first, the first five turns, <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then oh oh you get to hit uh, you get to hit them just instantly power and KO and power the other one it's not great for him to get into range here though is it this isn't looking great for him to be fair 
Yeah, I don't know how he gets the ball in range and safe. That is that is his problem. Some good stories. Do you know what? I I don't have any stories, Steve. I don't have any stories. Well, I've got one particularly crazy story, right? I made a cup of tea and it was too hot to eat. Too hot to drink, so I just... Uh, I just didn't drink it for a couple of minutes. <laughs> I know that's a crazy thing to do as a blood bowl coach, but uh, I managed to I managed to find this revolutionary way of uh, not eating a tea, not drinking a tea that was too hot. I just just left it for a minute. Unbelievable. I am here. Oh, they all sit at the same time. Because they're duplicates. Oh, well. <laughs> I haven't kept any any animal body parts in the freezer either, no. Oh, well, this is good, isn't it? Just get a surf the ball. Um, maybe not. Stand him up. This isn't a surf, is it? It's like it's not easy to get there. I've just realised I've moved everything. It's like this isn't even easy. What have I done? What have I done?
Okay, good. Been now? Yes. Alright, that's pretty fun, isn't it? You're telling me there's a chance? Yeah, I was thinking I could like, you know, come in this way and get the surf, but it just wasn't wasn't happening, was it? Because I would have had to have like gone for a 3-2 or like 3-3-2 three, three, all around there, like a 2-3-2 two, two to come all the way around there, so I just had to go in the front. It was a dodge, wasn't it? The problem was it was a dodge wherever I went. So, while it's not great to just uh, <laughs> get so he can't really try to surf me in a one day, can he? Um... I guess he could like just give up on the score and like blitz, but I mean, if he gives up on the score, he loses one nil, so he can't. He, he has to blitz this guy, right? He just literally has to blitz this guy. So like maybe if everything works for him, he can do one D at the end to surf this witch, but he can't really surf this witch. He has to try and blitz this guy. And He's probably just trying to stop getting scored on, isn't he? Oh my god, he failed the dodge! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. And he did not do safe moves first either. Actually, if I push him onto the ball, I can fuck it up, can't I? So, um, I just have to push him away. Sad. <laughs> Sad. Um, right, I've just got to try three two pluses. Fuck surfing. Or oh, four two pluses. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, if I'd powered him on three dice, I'd get to move him forward. The problem was that I still wouldn't have had him... Uh, I still... Didn't want it to bounce right because I could have still caught it on the bounce. So I should have just pushed him away to save the dodge, and then I would have scored. So it was, it was, it was still shit for me. Actually, it was shit. That that was shit for me. I was trying to push him forward to save the GFI, but actually, I could have just, I should have just pushed him away to save the dodge. Like I was hoping to save the dodge and the GFI, but it just wasn't possible, was it? And I just stupid of me. Absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid of me. Um, this is NAF, yeah. <laughs> Hello, the boomer. No, oh, well, look, a NAPO would have been better than the reserve now. Yeah, so if I blitzed from a different direction, I would have got the push, and that would have saved me 1-2+. plus. But I just didn't think. I just thought, oh, I'll try and power him. But then I realised, well, even if I had powered him, I just can't risk it bouncing back and one of my other players catching it. So 
terrible, terrible play there. Like, it was good making it 3D, but I should have made it 3D going away. And then I would have scored, right? So I just had to do three two pluses instead of four two pluses. So I did cost myself. It was a mistake, although it was bad dice. It was also an egregious error. I didn't really want to blitz anyone else, right? Like, I'm just palling him. I'm only getting him down with pals, so it's not real, no real point. Protecting the witch was the most important thing. Like this witch, right? With the, the eye cage for the witch. So he can't too do. He can maybe chain her in, but it's not easy, is it, to chain her in? An extra hit. Annoying one on the pickup. But should be enough to protect the ball. really like pushing him forward as well like obviously he'd got I he got really I got really lucky that he failed the dodge out didn't he like he, but god damn I should have just um should have just blocked him away if I blocked him away it was three two pluses to score and too late I realized if I push him forward it scatters and maybe one of my guys catches it or it just goes behind him and he can't score anyway it was just it's such a terrible idea oh my goodness he's rolling all the dice he's rolling all the dice here very aggressive hello dimbo yep very aggressive Now I wish I'd gone for the pickup with a witch elf, didn't I? So I could have just, could have just surfed him. old good good just 
just block my own path. Very clever. Good. Surfed. Yeah, yeah, surfed him, yeah. Fantastic. That's a great removal, isn't it? Surfed him anyway. Fwah. The old random cars have got to love it. He did use his apple in the first half um, on a badly hurt surf on turn two. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> yes. Way no, it was a bit cleverer than a gym surf, Dimmy. It was a bit cleverer than a gym surf. I had to, I had to do some clever things. It wasn't, it wasn't just a brain dead here. <laughs> surf my players for no reason. <laughs> oh shit! Is this a surf? It is, isn't it? Two to there, one to there, two to there, off, let's go. Oh, never lucky. <laughs> uh, it was funny though that it was, it was going to be a surf. <laughs> only took like, how many pushes was it? Two, three, four, five. Only took, would have only taken six pushes. And it nearly happened. <laughs> Start pushing forward one day. <laughs> He's a bludger, Dimmy. He's a bludger. He's a bludger. They were all pushes. Man, that would have been a fun. That would have been a fun surf, wouldn't it? No, Dimmy, actually. I had four hours of sleep. <laughs> but I did some exercise, so that's good, isn't it?
<laughs> Exercise is indeed OP, yep. He's already used his leader, unfortunately. Man, I could almost turn the corner this turn. I think what I'm going to do is send him out as like a feeler with him and then him in here and a ball here Seven. Good. Not terrible. So a couple of people behind his line also supporting each other is pretty decent, isn't it? I mean, not supporting each other, funnily enough, as if they were in a line. They probably should have been in a line, shouldn't they? Yeah, good bit of penetration there, wasn't it? Good bit of penetration. It was actually a double penetration. <laughs> Way. Instant full power, that's okay, kind of thing my inputs in this one, but I'd have rather have given up the block for doing it. Interesting. I don't want a two plus through there. Like you know, obviously two plusing through is pretty good, but a bit early for that. 
I think I just have to blitz his blodger. I could foul him, right? I don't hate fouling him. for a stun. Not great, is it? But it does put him down for another player for this turn, and it is a blodger. So it might help me break through this turn. Like, he's got nine players to defend with. Oh yeah, Union of Elves. That, that was in Blood Bowl 2, wasn't it? That was one of the mixed race teams, was like a, a Union of Elves. I don't know what they called it. But, um... <laughs> Union of Elves in Union with the other Elves. Maybe I should have gone for the 7-2 pluses, honestly. Looks better than getting sent off for a stun, doesn't it? But I've only got, like, three more turns to play, so... And he's only got three turns to stop me, so... It wasn't so bad a trade getting the stun. Could I have bracketed this guy? Probably not. I must want something there. Sure, this is a good idea.
Oh, fuck me. Okay, I'm never gonna bribe again. I'm never gonna foul again. I'm never gonna foul ever again. That I've learned. <laughs> Fucking double one. Oh. Can I just remove two players? Like, I could have just based up, right? Could have had two players basing in right now. I just thrown them away. Pretty dumb. I don't really know how to do a proper offense. This is a bit of a problem, isn't it? I could dack it, but I don't know how to do like a normal offense. He's having to base up like an idiot. Like, I've just got no idea what to do. Just get a lineman surfed and he'll dodge everyone off, I guess, is what I have to do. Terrible. Just don't know how to play. I don't know what to do. I just don't know. Tackling the witch is, isn't so bad, right? Really. Uses his blitz on a guy he could have blocked. Stun sucks though. I've sure lost a lot of players with those fouls. And that's stun. Fight me. Gotta get forward this turn. I mean, I'm four squares in, so I'm technically in range now, anyway. to cut the corner. Holy shit. 
He's just given us it for free. He mustn't have thought he could stop it. It was enough. Phew. Good. Unless there's a riot or a one turn. This seems the easiest way to get the push out this side, doesn't it? So if he comes in there and gets the push out that way, well then good luck to him, I guess. I guess I can do that. I don't know if it's good or not. A while, uh, no dog the dog I just I just got sent off I didn't <laughs> didn't get beaten up just got sent off you're gonna blitz, I mean blitz this one back in is just you know as well but I see gonna block this one in and then not make any dodges at all yeah, block this one in. Um, it's it's still hard, right? Even with two rerolls. Maybe I should have backlined, though. Maybe I should have backlined. Because now he can just... If he gets these pushes, he doesn't have to dodge, does he? And because I've got it tight, it's filling the squares from for the pushes. Oh, dear. Well, honestly, if I lose like this, or draw like this, it's fair, isn't it? Not like the bloody uh, riot. At least it's my fault. Now oh, he ran out of time. Oh yeah, that's good. He's got no time bank left. Oh my god. Perfect kick for him. And he's got two re-rolls. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The gap's way better back here, isn't it? Because it, it gives him the fill if he does something clever. Oh no. Oh no. Good. Good.
Still got the blitz though, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. 34 blocks of 21. Four out of five rushes, nine out of nine. Eight, seven out of eight dodges, 20 out of 22. So that was a very nice game, wasn't it actually? A lot more blocks, a lot less dodges, a lot less rushes. Good. There you go. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.